All right, going to show some scriptures demonstrating that the Norse deity Thor is actually a counterfeit of Jehovah. In light of the recent Thor film coming out, which I've done some videos showing the Illuminati uh, propaganda the century that it is. Uh, here are some scriptures demonstrating that the Norse, because it's based off the Norse mythology of Thor. Uh, basically, the fact is that here are uh, four different, oh, sorry, three different examples, I meant to say, of how Thor actually counterfeits Jehovah God. So here they are. I'm going to show from the scripture why that's so. So first of all, you know how you notice how the god Thor is essentially a god of lightning and thunder? Well, God the Father's voice is like thunder. John chapter 12, verse 27 to 29. Now is my soul troubled, what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause came I into unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it, and will glorify it again. The people therefore that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said an angel spake to him. Notice how God the Father's voice is describing as, as thundering. It, he's saying he thundered his voice. Okay, more scripture on that. Job chapter 37, verse 4 to 5. Job 37, verse 4 to 5. After it a voice roareth, he thundereth with the voice of his excellency, and he will not he will not stay them when his voice is heard. God thundereth mar marvelously with his voice, the great things doeth he, which we cannot comprehend. So again, his voice is described as, as like and the thunder, basically. So that's one example of how Thor is simply a counterfeit of Jehovah God, is the whole thunder aspect. Another aspect is the fact that Thor is, is like I said, a god of lightning as well. Well, Jesus Christ, his appearance in his glorified body is like and unto lightning. It's, it's as lightning, okay? Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 to 6. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 to 6. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes lamps of, as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet were in color to pol were like in color to polished brass. And the voice of his words were so the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Not good at reading on a computer, but notice there, the appearance of lightning is what it says there. So Jesus Christ in his glorified body has the appearance of lightning. So another example of how Thor counterfeits Jehovah God, the Godhead, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But also the last point I want to bring up is the fact that Thor's main weapon is a hammer. Well, the word of God is described as being like a hammer. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. Jeremiah 23, verse 29. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? God's word is like a hammer, but you got Thor using a hammer as his weapon, and lightning and thunder. You know, blatantly a counterfeit of the Godhead. Because what Satan does is that all that Satan does is counterfeit. He'll add a bit of truth here and there. Like with uh, Roman Catholicism, it's simply a mixture of Greco-Roman heathen religion in with New Testament customs. Or with Islam, it's a mixture of uh, Arabian, Egyptian, pagan religion in with some truths in the Old Testament. He'll, he'll, he'll mix in truth with lies, essentially. That's, that's what it comes down to. He'll sprinkle in some truth with a whole bunch of error caught up in the mix. So just another example just showing how Satan's greatest trick is counterfeit. Thor is a counterfeit of Jehovah God. So I want to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.